Okay, so this right here is my friend's Lenovo, I believe it's a Y510P. And this particular computer has an issue with the keyboard, meaning uh, I believe she spilled some water on it around the top right here. And now when you type in anything from the top lettering, it'll automatically add in the second letter up here. It's quite strange and mildly irritating and makes it almost impossible to type. But let me just demonstrate here real quick. So there's that R5. T is fine. E, W. So Q gives the apostrophe, R gives the 5, Y is just Y, U gives 6, I gives an equal sign, O is O, P gives a minus sign. So I've come to the conclusion that the keyboard needs to be replaced, being that it's probably had some water in it. At some point in time I did find some water damage when I was uh, fixing the computer, uh, upgrading the RAM, CPU, thermal paste, all that stuff. So what I'm going to be doing is pulling this apart and trying to do it in real time because it's actually really easy and really quick to do it. Pull the battery out right there. Okay, step one is going to be to take out all the screws that you see on the bottom side of the computer. Okay, next step is to take out this little under panel right here. There's a bunch of little plastic clips, clips around it and hold it in. Be very careful not to break any of them or try not to because then it'll affect the future fitment of the case. Okay, there that comes off. Now you'll see, well, you can see right here this tape has come off from me removing it already to do thermal paste on this computer but you'll see a few uh, screws marked as keyboard. You want to pull those screws off. Don't touch anything that has to do with the heatsink. Just pull these ones off right about here and that's about it. There's those two. And I believe that should be everything that holds it on. Let's flip this guy around right here. Next step, next step is to just slowly and carefully pull up on this keyboard. No, oh, I believe there's one more screw holding it in somewhere around here. Oh, right here. One more keyboard screw. Right over here. Look for any screw that has a keyboard marking on it. So this one, this one, this one. Oh, and it just fell right out. So now the keyboard is out. Carefully remove these ribbon cables right here. This one and this one. That one. Take that one out right there. This one right here. So that's the old keyboard out. And I'll go get the new one. So here's the new keyboard right here. Shipped freshly from China. There's this one. Now comparing these two side by side, they are a little bit different. The lettering is a bit different, but overall it looks pretty close. So, the installation is the exact same way as how you take it out. So, put these ribbon cables right back in here. And grab this one right here as well. Getting this, the, the, this ribbon cable wasn't too bad to get in. The power ribbon cable right here is going to be extremely difficult. At least the way it's set up now. So, so I ended up taking a really big risk and slightly peeling back the adhesive that holds this uh, second power ribbon cable on. I'm hoping I didn't just destroy it, but we'll see how it goes. And before I clip everything in, I'm just going to pop the battery in here real quick and make sure everything works. Okay, we have lights on the keyboard, so that's a win. 
And let's see if it does the same issue. So earlier, when I typed Q, the apostrophe came up, W, R, T, P, U. Oh, the keyboard is good. Job done. Shut the computer back down and put it back together. Pull the battery back out of here. So we place these guys right back in here. Press them all back in, just like so. Okay. Now I put the three the three screws that go into the actual keyboard. Two screws that go into these bottom holes right here. That's back on right here. Sure it's all good. So as you can see this all is pretty easy to do, uh, it only took maybe like 20 minutes max to actually rebuild this whole keyboard. And if you're going to do it on your own, I say go for it. Again, I'm not liable if anything happens, I'm just saying it's easy. And it's a lot better than having to live with a messed up keyboard. Okay, everything looks fine. Now if you like this video hit like, if you want to see more videos like this and car videos and Las Vegas drift scene videos and car meets and things like that, hit subscribe and do whatever else you do on the internet. Have a good one guys.